Okay. I just want to tell you all what happened, okay? I'm going to make this quick because I don't want to spend an hour on this. For those of you that don't know, on Monday on Raw, they advertised Drew McIntyre challenging Randy Orton for the title. A title oh, match on Raw. Okay. Okay? So they do the title match, and Drew McIntyre wins the championship. The show ends up doing the best third hour, like the second to third hour drop was the smallest it's been since like 2018. So hmm. huge edition of Raw, huge title match on the show, huge championship change, like the biggest Raw they could do right now. Okay. On Wednesday, there's an AEW show. It's on TNT. And quite frankly, it's a show. There's no major championship match announced. There's, it's just like a show. That AEW show beat Monday Night Raw on the USA Network in males 18 to 34 and in females 18 to 34. So if you're in this country and you're a wrestling fan and you're between the ages of 18 and 34, more of you and your peers watched AEW than Raw. Why? Well, quite frankly, it's because if you watch AEW, your peers are wrestling. MJF, Jungle Boy, Darby Allin. You can rattle off the list of names of stars that they have under the age of, of 25 or between the ages of, quite frankly, 18 and 34. On WWE, there is one person under the age of 25 that is getting any semblance of a push, and his name is Dominic Mysterio. So the point of all of this is... They do this Raw versus SmackDown Battle Royal. It's on the pre-show. It's just a bunch of geeks in a Battle Royal, quite frankly, that couldn't make the main card. And they're doing this Battle Royal, and it comes down to the last couple of guys, and Dominic Mysterio whoosh, shoves the last guy over the top rope, and young Dominic Mysterio has won the Raw versus SmackDown Battle Royal. An actual young star has won this match. Wow, excellent. And then do you know what happened? I have no idea. The win. Miz snuck back in because he hadn't been eliminated, and he threw out Dominic. So a 40-year-old man who has been there for 16 years ended up winning this Battle Royal. Now you know why AEW beats Raw in 18 to 34 year old men and women. And I tweeted this and nobody could figure out what I meant. It's not that hard. They had the opportunity to do something for a young guy in this battle royal, actually put a young person over, actually have him win. But at the end, it was a swerve to get heat so that The Miz, Mike, 40 year old Mike Mizanin, could win the battle royal and celebrate at the end of the pre show. So I just wanted to get that out there. Hmm. For the brain the size of walnut folks out there, the dinosaurs that don't know what's going on, now you know. And Vinny, you may now start on the main Survivor Series show. Yes, WWE Survivor Series Best of the Best. November 22nd, 2020. Wasn't that the name of a Ring of Honor DVD back in the day? I'm sure it still is. Just occurred to me. So you open with the Raw versus SmackDown men's Survivor Series match. So the Raw team is AJ Styles and Matt Riddle and Keith Lee and Braun Strowman and Sheamus. And it doesn't matter, but of those five, <laughs> the last guy who comes out is Sheamus. Which kind of goes, it's what Brian, it's nothing what Brian said. Sheamus has been a guy with his company for a decade or more. And AJ Styles has been a great guy for a few years. But it's Riddle and Keith Lee and Braun Strowman who are just there. And AJ just comes out because he's a giant. And Sheamus is apparently the main event of the Raw team. The SmackDown team is Jey Uso and Kevin Owens and Otis and Seth Rollins and King Corbin. You see Paul Heyman watching the match backstage. He is happy whenever Jey Uso is winning. He is sad whenever Jey Uso is losing. So they're doing this stuff. Guys are tagging in, doing stuff, tagging out. And suddenly it's Riddle and Otis in the ring. And it's awesome. Mm -hmm. Give me 20 minutes of Matt Riddle versus Otis. Please. So... I don't get 20 minutes of that. I get after about, I don't know, six minutes of wrestling. Seth tags in, tells his team it's for the greater good. 
offers himself as a sacrifice to Seamus, and Seamus boots him and pins him. And as I wrote here, I'm sure this is a storyline. I don't care. Brian, explain. No, no, don't. I don't care. I, I, I was flabbergasted. Well, the the problem no is nobody here is paying any attention to any of this. Right. So which random stupid storyline in this match? I was thinking the Twitch homies. Which one are you talking about? Seth offering himself to be pinned. Oh, um, there's himself. nothing. There's no. Vinny, there's no explanation for it. Okay. The answer is that Seth Rollins has a pregnant wife, and he's going home after this show. I see. Okay. And so what they did was they blew off two feuds over the last two weeks on SmackDown. The most recent one on Friday was him versus Buddy Murphy. The guy's on his way out. There's a 29-year-old that you can elevate. And Seth Rollins beats him up for 80% of the match while the Mysterios try to attack Seth Rollins. It's Seth against four other people. Mm -hmm. And finally, Murphy gets a win. So, like, Seth took the vast majority of the match before finally losing to Buddy Murphy. And then the next day on SmackDown, he just sits in the middle of the ring and lets Sheamus kick him. And that's his ticket out. Sheamus! Exact same fucking thing I was just talking about five minutes ago. Indeed. Hmm. Indeed. I'm sweating. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.